Okay, a quick video tour of my 1986, or just so I was told it was an 86 when I bought it, uh, camper at. Walk around the outside here. Got a one piece aluminum roof. I've owned this for three years now. I put a fair bit of work into it. It was a good shell when I bought it, but uh, definitely needed some work. See the outside paneling there? There are a few uh, dents and dings and places where the paint's starting to wear through. But overall, in really good shape. If it wasn't for buying that camper van, I uh, I would not be selling this. Okay, so we'll start on this side. Up front, the uh, water filled door. It actually isn't hooked up, but I'm happy to hook it up for you if that's something you'd like. Propane door. Can hold a 20 pound propane tank. Um, just fine, it's got a bungee in there to hold it down. It's got two hijacker um, Victoria made um, camper jacks on the front and two Rico Titans on the back. The under undercarriage of it, the plywood was repainted and uh, every joint had been sealed back up. I resealed it all. Like I said, one piece aluminum roof. Uh, I built this uh, boat rack for up top. It's also got a ABS solar shower on the side. I'll have to do the math again on how much uh, water it holds. I believe it's about 25 liters, enough for about uh, a 10 minute long shower. Since it's just gravity fed, it doesn't have great water pressure or anything. It's also super handy just for washing dishes while you're camping. The boat rack is built just tall enough where you can slide the, a boat straight on without it intruding the roof vent, as you can see there. All four corners are solid, um, never had any problems with uh, any soft spots. I was just up pressure washing the aluminum roof off, I could walk around everywhere just fine and I weigh about 200 pounds. So the electrical situation, uh, this is a deep cycle marine battery. I'll do the math on what uh, amp hours it is but I believe it'll be 60 or 80 amp hours. It's wired into a 7 pin. Um, trailer style connector here underneath. This stray wire is for the uh, lighting around the outside. There's a few um, marker lights that I just didn't bother wiring in since it was going to be wired to a separate battery. So yeah, it's wired to the seven pin connector there. Just behind that is uh, the um, gray water dump point behind that is a 110 plug that I took off because it was all rotted away. But if you wanted, you could put a 110 plug on the end of that and then have a one single 110 outlet inside. The battery comes with, the hoses come with, the camper platform comes with so you can roll it around if you have a flat surface you're storing it on. It's been, it's been stored under a carport for the last few years. Coming around to the rear, first off the stickers, I'm happy to take them all off for you if you don't like them. Two outdoor LED floodlights uh, for lighting up the entrance of the camper at night. I've redone all the door seals and the window seals. Those nice and tight. Here are the two uh, Rico Titan jacks. Coming around to this side, see the stove pipe for the tiny little wood stove I put in it. This side has the mesh, the other side does not have the mesh screen. Rubber mat so it doesn't scratch up the box of your truck. Opening front window, look up the roof again. Okay, let's go inside. I know this video is shot 
up and down and not side to side, but it's going to be a lot easier to show you the inside this way. Uh, this curtain is going up uh, at the front there, and by the time anyone comes to see it, uh, it will be installed. All new um, dark blue, you can see it there, dark blue uh, curtains that were just sewn up. All new uh, upholstery on the inside, on the backs and the cushions. There's the, uh, the other curtain there, side wall. There's the kitchen area. And the other seating bench. Let me just get in and close this door to get rid of the glare. Okay, now that we're in here, so we got one um, cabinet that's not full storage since the box for the propane tank is there. There's the water fill that I'm happy to hook up. Upper cabinets work as they should. Nice storage up top. Uh, it's got brand new LED lights. They are nice and bright. Kind of hard to tell since it's a sunny day, but this place gets really bright at night if you want it. Two burner Coleman cooktop. Uh, it doesn't have the piezo lighters in there or igniters or anything, so you got to use a lighter, but works perfectly fine. Sink with a hand pump. The hand pump doesn't leak. I, uh, I rebuilt it. Here's the oh, there's the 110 plug. Here's the sink, and the um, fresh water tank is just down in there. It's just a 10 liter jerry can. I didn't use the sink inside very much. Got a little 12 volt set up here. Uh, cigarette lighter, USB chargers, and then. Um, the toggle switch here to read your voltage on the battery. This drawer is the only drawer that doesn't have the uh, hardware left to keep it click it closed. But uh, two, two full size drawers and a little cutlery drawer. Underneath here is uh, just an ice box. It's not a fridge, sadly, but it'll hold a block of ice for about four days. I do have the shelf that goes in there. Um, it's just out right now. The table is uh, some reclaimed wood from an old movie set my dad built, uh, so it's hardwood. It's got some uh, some weird markings and stuff. There is uh, a burn on the table right there. Other than that, it's in pretty good shape. New butcher block oil rubbed into it. The flooring, I just got it wet, sadly, uh, but it's got bamboo um, bamboo hardwood floors. They clean up real nice. I just track my wet boots in here, so I'll have to clean that up. Um, yeah, no, or mesh on this window, no mesh on this window, no mesh on this window, and no mesh on this back window, which opens, the top comes down, or the bottom goes up. Um, what else? The roof vent. There's the roof vent. Opens up. Fan works. It's I have it set up to pull air out. Another LED light. I should leave that on. This back wall, the um, switch for the outside floodlights and a master switch for the uh, fan and LED lights up here. And of course, in the corner the tiny tiny little wood stove I built. So the story behind this is it was actually a high school metal shop program um, project I made. It was a safe originally and then I want to try and make it into a tiny little wood stove so I converted it. It's got uh, inch and a half exhaust piping with the galvanizing sanded off for a stove pipe that goes up and out. As you can see uh, it has a three inch aluminum plumbing flashing um, that is basically like the stove jack that goes outside. I drilled the hole for it and then cut out everything in behind here all the way back and up in the roof all the way back so it's in between there it's just um, the, the flashing and then void airspace and the outside sheet metal. I cleared out the paneling, the insulation and the plywood 
so there is uh, is no chance for any smoldering to take place and in fact since that is open to outside air as you can see you can actually stick your finger while the wood stove's been going in in right there and it's not hot at all since it can pull air in and out um, but the stove itself it's uh you see my hand in there it's obviously very small um, it could use a new handle this is just what I had laying around it's got a little grate in the bottom to keep the the wood up off right to the uh, off the bottom some air intake holes in the bottom these uh, the legs are adjustable just because when you obviously can't drive with this in um, so when you set it back up again it's always a little different so the the legs are adjustable and it's got a dampener system here so you can dampen it down when you go to night uh, go to bed at night um, or open it all the way up if you want to get the uh, the fire really really going sitting on um, some fire stones and on a, I built a slate mantle for it the only place that gets pretty warm is up here this is just a battery operated light is up here and my original plan was just to get a little battery powered fan and mount it back there to blow the air out and it'll help cool it off I've never had any problems with it though and I've I went uh, I've gone camping in, in not so great weather um, and had it burning for you know five or six hours uh, and when I go to bed it will burn for about an hour hour and a half uh, until it uh, stops stops giving off really good heat since the the you know the burn uh, the burn box is quite small so I built a little cedar shelf up here um, so you can stack the firewood up and there's a little hatchet there under the seats which is all uh, repainted there's storage this side's mostly storage just for the um, the pieces for the bed but you can fit some other stuff in there it also has um, these areas you can reach down into the box of your truck when this is in the box of your truck so it's got two on this side two on the other side and the same deal same deal on this side with that removal piece for storage and then also some additional storage at the back here that I lost on the other side because of the wood stove but yeah overall this camper served me really well especially since I put the wood stove in it um, lots of people come up and they're like what what are you burning it like what is going on in there and they want to come have a look um, yeah, it's, it's treated me really well, never leaked, um, always stored under cover, and uh, it's definitely been my little project. But yeah, if there's any, I'm happy to um, do any of the work you'd like, take the stickers off, plumb the water fill in, um, you know, if you want to spend an extra few hundred dollars, I'd be happy to put some solar on the roof and mount the, the battery in there and get a smaller propane tank. So it's a self-contained uh, unit. But yeah, anyways, if you have any questions, let me know.